Hey everybody, good morning. It's Anna J. Wellner with the Author Library and with me today I have author Rachel Hobbs. Rachel, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Rachel Hobbs and I'm the author of Shadow Stained, uh, the first in the Stones of Power series. It's um, a dark fantasy series for adults. So the Stones of Power series begins with Shadow Stained, which introduces us to Ruby and Drabex and a mysterious item. Yes, the, the Lapis Vitae. Um, I, I, I wanted to ask you how to, to, to pronounce that. <laughs> I didn't want to take a chance. Oh, I mean, I um, suppose you can pronounce it however you want to, but um, yeah, I, the Lapis Vitae. Um, aka the stones of power so um, it has the that each book in the series uh, is going to feature a, a new stone of power and the lapis vitae has the power to grant immortality to um, a demon Ooh. and to Drabex who is a demon lord he would do anything to get his hands on this power uh, and then we've got Ruby, who is the who's my other protagonist. She's a human, um, and her gran gave her this necklace on her deathbed, which has the lapis vitae embedded in the necklace. And she's she's totally oblivious as to what it is. It's just a sentimental piece of jewelry um, that her gran gave her, and it has it's has a lot of good memories attached. So um, Dravex, he he starts to try and get this necklace, but it's not as easy as that because while Ruby is mortal and it's not going to make it immortal, it does protect her. So he can't, he can't kill her and take it and he can't steal it from her against her will. So uh, the book starts where he's, he's trying to, to get into her good graces and it's all a big game to him. Uh, and it's, it's not as simple as that. <laughs> and there seems to be, uh, it is, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a dark paranormal fantasy, but there's a little bit of romance in there as well. A little bit of sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which is um, always good. Yes. It, well, I, a lot of sexual tension there between the two characters, um, whether they want it there or not. It's, um, they're, they're, they're very much enemies, but, um, there is this, um, this obsession there that they, they can't, they get under each other's skin a little bit, uh, a bit of push and pull. And, um, and of course it's always quite delicious when the, when they don't want that, but they can't really get rid of it. <laughs> I was going to say, listening to you just talk about Ruby and Dravex, I could <laughs> Of get that vibe that uh, that had the potential to evolve into something that uh, that maybe you know was a little steamy, which is which is <laughs> I enjoy. I'll be honest. Yes, yes, I uh, I do very much enjoy that myself. So being able to to write that into my own books, I, I have a lot of fun there. <laughs> so, uh, do we see Ruby and Dravex? in the series will they continue in the series as the predominant characters yes uh the it revolves around these two main characters uh and they're evolving changing relationship um i don't want to spoil too much no no but um as i said each each book will have a different stone of power um and while in shadow stained they are enemies in the subsequent books that could well change. Um, they might be forced to work together or um, have to team up to, to take down an even bigger threat and put their differences aside. Um, and it's definitely gonna, just gonna get messier as the series progresses. Well, we have a generational curse, an impending apocalypse. I mean, the first book starts the series off with a bang and we're going to see more from ruby and dravex this year i mean the series must continue yes yeah uh definitely uh book two is um uh due for release later this year 
I'm aiming for around September time. And uh, we do have a title. The title is Soul Strong. Soul Strong. Like it. So um, without spoiling too much for Shadow Stained, um, we've got a new stone of power and we've got new problems and old problems that have evolved um, and snowballed. You know, when you, you kind of sweep things under the rug and think, oh, I'm, I'll deal with that later. And you don't deal with it and it comes back to bite you, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, more of the same and uh, lots more on top of that. Well, what's the greatest thing that you as an author, uh, what's the greatest thing for you about writing fantasy? Um, Especially I, dark fantasy. Yes, I suppose uh, when I first started writing fantasy, um, it was it was a form of therapy. I wasn't in a good place mentally and uh, I just needed an outlet. So I started to pour everything out onto the page and it didn't matter how dark it was. I, as far as I was concerned, no one else was going to see it. Um, just pour out all the demons from my head. And as, as time went on and I started to feel better about myself, it just became this thing that I couldn't let go of. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe I can turn this into a book. Uh, so that's, that's kind of how it started, really. It wasn't intending to, to be a book. It just kind of, uh, as I said before, snowballed. <laughs> it is kind um, of, it is very cathartic whenever you're writing. If you know the author personally, um, you'd be surprised how many kind of parallels you'll see in their writing or in their characters um, or the way that they talk or the things that they do that um, that say you you know you know that's that's so like you or I can see where you came up with that or you know something like that so writing is definitely a form of therapy and fantasy is so much fun because you get to make your own rules oh yes yeah lots of fun there um I've got um it's partly based on Earth, but it's also partly based on um, a oh. demon planet, which is the planet that Drabex rules over. And that in particular was especially fun to write because I could just go to town on that. It was a blank slate. Um, and it was, uh, I think you can tell how much fun I had writing it from the way I wrote it, you know. It really does come through whenever you're enjoying what you're writing and putting down on the page. It translates to the reader immensely because they have fun reading it um, because of the, the 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 heart that you pour into it whenever you're you're writing it. So, yeah. Now I've 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 just I've I've just started it by the way a couple of days ago and I'm already I'm not no spoilers. Um, no, but, no. but I'm already <laughs> like, uh, and and I'm talking about Shadow Scene, uh, the first book in the series, and uh, I'm already um, into the book and invested in the characters, which you do re really, really well. Um, I'm 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 invested in Ruby, and I want to see how her story continues. No, definitely no spoilers. Very well done. But, um... Yeah, I, uh, I've been told it's a, a bumpy ride. <laughs> but a fun ride, a fun bumpy ride. Yes, sometimes. yes. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I, ha I have a tough question though. So <clears throat> out of Ruby and Dravex, which one was the most fun to write? Who's your favorite? Can you pick one? <laughs> well, I'm it's a so little hard. Bit, um, I do have an extra soft spot for Dravex. He is very fun to write, and I feel like, especially after I've, I've been at work all day and it's been especially long, and then I can come home, open up my laptop, and Dravex, he's, he's such a, well, he's such a bad character that his boundaries, there's pretty much, there's not a lot that you can't do with him. <laughs> you can, it's like a big playground, you know. Um, Ruby is also, she's fun in other ways because she challenges him in a way that no one else would dare. 
and I think that's very it's very fun to watch him squirm. Uh, they they both have different I'm ways that they're very fun, but Dravex in particular, he's he's very fun to write. You can just go to town with it. <laughs> I'm loving hearing you talk about them like this. Um, <laughs> Uh, just the way that he makes him squirm. I'm, I'm like, yeah, there's sometimes whenever that's that's fun to to read whenever someone's intentionally pushing someone else's buttons to get a reaction. And then you're like, you know, Ooh, what's that reaction going to be? He's a bit of a Marmite character. So I think um, he should be squirming sometimes, you know. <laughs> it's... So <laughs> you're almost kind of torn it's a, it sounds like between who you root for at times like your side changes and I love that in a book because just whenever you think this character is irredeemable then something comes along and and you're like oh well maybe you know <laughs> yes so I, I, like, I love delving into the the whole idea of the gray morality um not you know the the fact that there is no black or white but everyone has gray spots in between um that's and, real life yes yeah and it's really fun to explore that in between area where you're really conflicted about is this character a good character are they a bad character they could be both at any given time they could uh could switch and a good character has the capacity to to turn into the villain um, when something bad happens in their life and, and vice versa, you know? So I like to explore that with, uh, with my books. Very, very true. Um, uh, yes, uh, and, and, it's, and it's also fun, those little twists for the reader, never quite knowing who they need to side with, so they have to keep reading on. Very well done. I'm, 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 I'm into the book, as I said. Uh, very, very, very interested to see where it goes next. So, please let me know what you think. <laughs> I, I will, and 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 uh, and I will leave a review, guys. Um, just a really quick pub, uh, PSA, public service announcement for for independent authors like like us. It really does help if you're if you're a reader that's watching this. Just take the five minutes to to write a review for us um because it really does help and and um, it's greatly appreciated and it can make an author's day as well I, oh god yes absolutely so um a, a lot of people a lot of people don't and um so you know that's something that's going around right now is trying to encourage people to leave reviews because for people like um you know um SJ Moss or, or you know, JL Elmer Tarot, you know, they don't really need the review, you know, they probably don't even look at them. But for us, you know, we actually, the, the humans behind the books that, that you read and enjoy, we really do read the reviews and it can make our day and it can also uh, really help uh, help us. So, uh, so I'm a big proponent for, for writing reviews. Absolutely, yes. But if you haven't already gotten your copy of Shadow Stain, make sure to do that. Oh, you have the hard copy. I oh, do, yes. And that's another <laughs> place found. Yeah, so um, this one is a bit hard to get your hands on at the moment due to COVID. Um, a lot of the, the stores it would normally be in, they're, they're not selling the hardback, but one oh. day it will be available. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can actually, oh gosh, you'll be able to I get it on my Etsy shop soon. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, I, I love the cover. Thank you. Did you see me leaning in? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful cover. Uh, so guys, yeah, if, if, if you haven't already, um, go, go uh, check out the, the links in the description of the video uh, for everything um, about Rachel, her website and uh, Amazon page. And um, uh, actually, I, sh I guess I should include the one for uh, Amazon UK. Is that how you prefer that people? Well, um, I guess it depends on where you're at, so. Yeah, I mean, um, wh wherever you can, it's absolutely fine. 
Okay. All right. Well, guys, I will have all of those, um, all of those links in the description below. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on great upcoming content. Rachel, thank you again so much for joining me this morning and giving thank us you. giving us some more insight into Ruby and Dravex. And guys, seriously, pick up this book. <laughs> so um, thank you again. And guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Bye.